welcome to Lenard chemistry classes. In this video, I am going to discuss about intermediate first year chemistry topic, chemical bonding. In chemical bonding topic, I am going to discuss about types of overlapping in valency bond theory. So in my previous video, I have discussed about the valency bond theory. So what is valency bond theory? In this video, I am going to discuss about uh, types of overlapping of atomic orbitals. Thank you for watching Pranath Chemistry classes. Please like the video, share and subscribe the channel. To overcome the limitations, to overcome the limitations in Lewis theory and Vesper theory, Valency bond theory has introduced the concept of overlapping of atomic orbitals. So what is overlapping of atomic orbitals? So according to valency bond theory, there is a minimum energy state when the two atoms are so near that their atomic orbitals undergo partial inter interpenetration. So this merging of atomic orbitals we are calling it as the atomic orbitals of uh, overlapping of atomic orbitals. And uh, the extent of overlapping decides the strength of the bond. The extent of overlapping decides the strength of the bond. So greater the overlapping of atomic orbitals, stronger is the bond. Stronger is the bond. So according to this valency bond theory or overlapping of atomic orbital concept. The formation of covalent bond between two atoms results in the valency shell having opposite spins. So according to this orbital overlap concept, the formation of covalent bond between two atoms results in the valency shell having opposite spins. Now let me discuss about overlapping of atomic orbitals overlapping of atomic orbitals so when orbitals of two atoms when when orbitals of two atoms come close together when orbitals of two atoms come close to form a bond their overlap may be positive or negative or zero depending upon the sign or phase and direction of orientation of the amplitude of orbital wave function in space. So we know that S orbital has a spherical shape, D orbital, P orbital has a dumbbell shape, D orbital has a double dumbbell shape. So in this uh, intermediate point of view, we are going to discuss about overlapping involved in S and P orbitals only. S and P orbitals only. So when orbitals of two atoms, so when two atomic orbitals of two atoms come close together, so they will overlap. That overlapping may be positive or negative or zero. Or zero dep depends upon the sign or phase and direction of direction of orientation of amplitude of orbital wave function in space. So here. Let me discuss uh, what is the positive, positive overlapping, what is negative overlapping, and what is zero overlapping. What is positive overlapping, what is negative overlapping, and what is zero overlapping. So positive or in phase overlapping. Positive or positive or in phase overlapping. So surface boundary diagrams for surface boundary diagrams. So for positive or in phase overlapping. So if you take PZ orbital, so we know that P orbital has a so let it be Z axis. So PZ orbital this is the PZ orbital. So we know that it has the positive side positive low and a negative side. So this positive or negative indicating 
one is above the plane and another is below the one lobe is above the plane another lobe is below the plane so here here another p orbital so this is positive this is positive so the positive lobe of one p orbital overlap with another positive of lobe so that one we are calling it as the uh, in phase or positive overlap this one we are calling it as the we are calling it as the in phase or positive overlap positive overlapping so this is regarding pz orbitals so if you take one pz orbital and s orbital one pz orbital and s orbital if you take so just now i have shown one lobe is positive another lobe is negative so we know that s orbital has spherical shape so that's why here it is overlapping with this is the pz orbital this is the positive lobe and as the s orbital has a spherical shape so this is called another positive or in phase overlap so if you take either px or py orbitals for example this is the px orbital or py orbital so this is another px or another py orbital right this is the z axis this is let it be y axis now it is called py orbital this is py orbital so they are overlapping laterally so this kind of overlapping we are calling it as the uh, positive or in phase overlapping positive or in phase overlapping positive or in phase overlap So this is called positive or in phase overlap. Then let me show surface boundary diagrams for negative or out phase overlap. Negative or out phase overlap. That is. So let it be pz orbital so this is the positive low this is the negative low this is another pz orbital so here this is negative and this is positive so if these two are overlap this one we are calling it as the out phase overlap this is we are calling it as the out phase overlap This one we are calling it as the out phase overlapping or negative overlapping. So out of phase overlapping or negative overlapping. So similarly for SP orbitals if you take. So this is the PI, PZ orbital. So this is the negative low and this is the positive low. If it is overlapping with S orbital then it is called out of phase overlapping or out of phase overlapping or out of phase overlapping or um, negative overlapping negative overlapping so these are nothing but surface boundary diagrams these are nothing but boundary surface diagrams with by by means of uh, surface boundary diagrams or boundary surface diagrams we can uh, show uh, what is a positive or negative overlapping of atomic orbitals or in phase or out phase overlapping of atomic orbitals. This overlapping of atomic orbitals is of three types. So one is SS overlapping, another is SP overlapping, third one is the overlapping is of three, three types. One is SS overlapping, the second one is SP overlapping, third one is PP overlapping, third one is PP overlapping. Third one is a PP overlap. Now, what is SS overlapping? So, there is a half field 
in excess overlapping there is a in there is a overlap between between there is a overlap between there is a overlap of between half filled between two half filled s orbitals two half filled s orbitals this type of overlapping uh, we are calling it as the ss overlapping so there is a overlap of two half filled s orbitals along the inter nuclear axis along the inter nuclear axis along the inter nuclear axis that one we are calling it as the ss overlapping so what is ss overlapping so half filled one s orbital of s atomic orbital is overlapping with another half filled s atomic orbital then we are calling it as the ss overlapping so this is the s orbital and this is another s orbital so s orbital is overlapping with another s orbital this type of overlapping we are calling it as the ss overlap so ss overlapping can be observed in the formation of hydrogen molecule so in h2 molecule so 1s orbital of hydrogen overlap with the 1s orbital of another hydrogen forms two forms hh hh covalent so this is called ss overlapping now let me explain about sp overlapping so what is sp overlapping sp overlapping means in this in this type of overlapping half filled s atomic orbital is half filled s atomic orbital is overlapping with half filled s orbital s orbital overlap with overlap with half filled p orbital of another p orbital half filled p orbital this type of overlapping is called sp overlapping s orbital is overlapping with another s orbital is overlapping with p orbital then this type of overlapping we are calling it as the sp overlapping so sp overlapping occurs between half filled s orbital of one atom and half filled p orbital of another atom so sp overlapping we can observe in formation of hc so we know that hydrogen has a lewis structure of this and chlorine has a lewis structure of this right so the 1s atomic orbital of hydrogen overlapping with p orbital of chlorine p orbital of chlorine and forms undergoes sp overlapping and forms hcl hcl bond hcl bond this type of overlapping we are calling it as the sp overlapping so ss overlapping means uh, the ss overlapping Occurs between half filled s orbital of one atom and half filled s orbital of another atom. That type of overlapping we are calling it as the ss overlapping. And sp overlapping means this type of overlap occurs between half filled s orbital of one atom and half filled p r half filled p orbital of another atom. We are calling it as the um, sp overlap. And third type of overlapping. is pp overlap pp overlap so pp overlapping means uh, this type of overlapping this type of overlap occurs between between half filled p orbital of half filled p orbital of one atom and half filled p orbital of second atom second atom along the internuclear axis along the internuclear axis this type of overlapping we are calling it as the pp overlapping so pp overlapping means this type of overlap takes place between two half filled p orbitals of the approaching atom two half filled p orbitals of the approaching atoms so ss means a overlapping occurs between the two s orbitals we are calling it as the ss overlapping overlapping occurring between y s orbital of one atom and p orbital of second atom is called sp overlapping and overlap occurs between 
two half filled p orbitals we are calling it as the pp overlapping pp overlapping so this is regarding our uh, types of overlapping so for pp overlapping for ss overlapping we have explained with the example of hp and this is hcm so for example for pp overlapping it is an example by using chlorine molecule formation of chlorine in chlorine one p orbital overlap with another p orbital another p orbital so uh, that occurs and uh, ccl sigma bond is formed ccl bond is formed so this is regarding types of overlapping types of overlapping so ss overlapping pp overlapping and sp overlapping so ss means one two atom uh, half filled two half filled s yes, atomic orbitals of two atoms overlap that overlapping we are calling it as the ss overlapping so if it is occurring between half filled s orbital of one atom and half filled p orbital of the second atom we are calling it as the sp overlapping and third one is pp overlapping two half filled p orbitals of two atoms approaching atoms then it is called pp overlapping thank you for watching trinath chemistry classes Please like the video, share and subscribe the channel.